Flooding can occur in a variety of situations. Flood inundation maps are key tools that help us visualize what may occur during a flood and take actions to prepare in advance. Each map is developed by making a variety of assumptions about how water might behave. Typically, these maps show where water may go during a flood, including how far the water may extend past the banks of a river or waterway and how deep the water may be. Flood inundation maps can assist emergency managers, community leaders, and decision makers in understanding what types of flooding may occur, who and what could be damaged or in harm's way, and how much time there might be to give evacuation notice in an area that may flood. The maps you see on the National Inventory of Dams, also referred to as the NID, are designed to show flooding that could occur near dams. Flooding up and downstream of dams can occur when there is too much water for the dam to hold, requiring larger than normal amounts of water to be released from the dam. Flooding can also occur if there is an operational or structural issue at the dam. Users viewing flood inundation maps on the NID can see how these scenarios may affect areas within their community and use this information to prepare in advance. Each map shows a shaded zone around and downstream of the dam that represents where water may go. However, water may not behave in real time exactly as shown on a flood inundation map. Individuals trying to understand if they will be impacted should talk to local officials who can offer advice on how to prepare before a flood occurs. While the NID does not yet have flood inundation maps available for every dam, it provides these maps wherever possible. We encourage you to check the NID on a regular basis to see newly added and updated maps.